Hey, what's going on guys? It's Tuba Player Negative AE. I tried to get a little bit ahead and solve the puzzle, so I wouldn't have to spend all episode doing this puzzle, but I'm fucking stuck, right? So there's these things in the room, right? And you have this thing, which is stupid. It's beeping, it's like, there's, it's see, it has like a beeping pattern, and they're like, oh, what's that beeping pattern up above? I can't enter a code because this panel's here. And I'm like, okay, well, F me. Then I don't know the password of this stupid computer. I have batteries, scissors, and a wire. I use the wire to get the key from down here. I use the key to get this open. And then I got stuff, right? And then there's these numbers on the thing, right? There's these, it says seven, six, three, and then in here, there is a five, right? Oh, look at that five. Looks like the number five. Oh, great. They might be combined with something else, right? So, and then this is supposed to be like a compass thing, right? There's something written on the floor. Is This is the number four, right? No, it's not. It's It looks like a different symbol to me. For instance, the symbol that you see on maps. So that leads me to believe that this over here is north, right? This is east. This is west. And this is south. Watch the news. I come over here. I'm like, oh, okay. Here I go, three, six, five, seven, nothing. And you don't know something, don't ever wake yourself. And then I go and talk to her, and then she's like, oh, I'm sorry, just do the same thing that you just did, and you'll find the answer. But no, unless I'm just getting my east and west confused, and it's actually just three, um, Five, six, seven. But no, that's wrong too. And if I if I take the compass and I think it's reversed, and I start with the number seven, and then I go to number five, then go to six. Is it five? No, it's six, then five. And then three. Actually, I think it's five and six. So I'll try it one more time before I flip my lid. Five then six. Yeah. And then three. Absolutely gosh darn nothing. So I'm, I'm done with it. It's stupid. No one cares. No. I don't want auto on. For those of you who have no interest playing an escape game, thank you. Yeah, no, I'm just leaving. Screw this. Oh my goodness, you guys have no idea how long I spent trying to figure out which fucking number. And even if it's five, that's the north. It's still wrong. Yeah, that's fine. I... I literally have no problem with that. So stupid. I hate everything. Okay. With our powers combined, we're able to kill it. Who cares about clearing it? Why does the exit feel like it's not opening? Huh? What do you mean it won't open? Are you serious? It's not opening. Didn't I just tell you that? Yes. It's not just the exit. Even the door we entered from isn't even opening. Maybe the game isn't over yet. Could it be? Is there any chance that the thing I found earlier was just joking around? Seems you have something on your mind. Um, when I first arrived in this room, I received a letter. A letter? I'm sorry. I thought it was just a prank, so I didn't have a chance to tell you. Enough with the excuses. Hurry up and show it to me. Um, uh, yes, it's this. Solve the mystery of the final dead room, and you will obtain the right to play the life-threatening game. About the life-threatening game. It's life-threatening roulette. P.S. You are held liable for setting the roulette's difficulty. Depending on the difficulty, I've prepared special prizes, so make sure you don't overdo yourself. What the fuck? Um. What does it mean? It means the games up until now were just the opening act. From this point on is the real performance. Life-threatening roulette. That's like, that's probably like Russian roulette. See, a gun came out of there, or out from there, which means I have to use that to play Russian Roulette, right? 
Hey! Russian roulette? Then allow me. You can't! You can't, no matter what, it's too dangerous. Hey, Monami, there's something I wanted to ask you. In all honesty, I don't really understand the rules of Russian roulette. Hey! If that's the case, load one bullet into the cylinder and spin it. After that, point the gun towards your towards you and pull the trigger. You can't! Wait, you can't do that. There's a one in six chance you'll die. One in six chance of death. Which means the rate the failure rate is only one sixth. Hey, is that rule really okay? Mm -hmm. Huh? I mean if there's only a one si sixth chance of failing, wouldn't the game be too easy? Shouldn't it be the opposite? Remove one bullet from the gun, and then use it while the other five bullets are still loaded. If you do that, there'll be a one in six chance of success. Yep, that would definitely make a more thrilling game. It's what are you saying? Let's give it a go. Uh, hold on, Nagito. What are you doing? What you don't understand is Nagato knows he's the ultimate lucky. What am I doing? Playing Russian roulette, obviously. Yeah, you're the ultimate lucky, so I've you're gonna win. One bullet, so there's only a one in six chance that I'll survive. You, you can't. Please stop. It's not much of a talent, but even I have an ultimate level talent. You know, I'm yeah. an ultimate lucky student. But if I can't win when there's only a one in six chance of success, then what kind of ultimate talent is that? Exactly. I mean, if my luck gets me killed like this. There's no way you can really call that talent. I agree. If I'm truly the ultimate lucky student, I need to survive here. I agree. Th you know, I wouldn't take the risk myself, but I'm not the ultimate lucky student. Isn't that right? If I was the ultimate lucky student... No, no, he'll, su he'll survive, unless he wants to die. That was the door unlocking, right? Looks like we finally cleared the final dead room. That's I. I'm scared of you, Nagato. Hmm? Really? Oh well, let's go. The octagon should be just beyond that door. Oh shit. So this is the octagon, huh? What a distorted room. Congratulations, Nagato. Whoa, 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 he's here. Congratulations on clearing the final dead room. And you even challenge yourself at the highest difficulty with only one six chance of success. Here! I have a modest present for someone like you. Now then, this first. This is the Future Foundations file. Didn't we already get this when we were at the roller coaster? Uh -huh. Just think of it as an extension of that. An extension? Hey, hey! You, you, what are you giving without permission? Let's see, one more special prize. Here you go. This crest. Is it... This is the Hope's Peak Academies? <laughs> That's right, this file. Contains your student profiles from your time at Hope's Peak Academy. Meaning, they're profiles that you guys don't even remember. Our time at po Hope's Peak Academy, huh? But after all this time, I still can't believe it. You mean, the matter concerning your stolen school memories? A no good person like me should actually actually spend time with everyone else at Hope Speak Academy? No, that's impossible. You're the ultimate lucky though. If that's true, how did I feel? Surely I would have spent my life feeling ashamed of myself for being in the presence of such greatness. Jeez, whether you're upbeat or depressed, I don't understand you at all. Oh well, I'm passing this along to you. How you use it is up to you. Thanks, I'll take a long look at it later. So if I look at these profiles, I'll be able to find out what Hajime's hidden talent is too. He'll probably be happy about it. Yay! Someone like me is finally useful. <laughs> what are you laughing about? Well, I just thought it was ironic. That if everyone here, someone like you, was the one who obtained the Hob Hope Speak Academy student profiles. I'm not sure if you're lucky or unlucky. What, what does that mean? <laughs> but it looks like things are gonna get interesting. Yes, Nagato, you might be the one who makes things much more interesting. I don't really know what you're talking about. Hey, hey. What are you planning? What's written in there? Lie. Anyway, Monami. Hey, hey. No cheating. You haven't reached the end yet. Hmm? Huh? Yeah. I mean, you haven't played Russian Roulette yet. Um, 
But Nagato already did it. What are you saying? No, no, no. No, no, no. Get over here. Revenge of the final bedroom. What? Jeez, they're gone. In the end, I still don't understand what Monokuma was talking about. But for now, I'll leave this file for later. First, I need to investigate this room. It's not like I know how to get out of here. Okay. Right there is probably how you get out of here. The door on the floor. Isn't this the first floor of the strawberry house? Did this lead underground? Based on the sketch, there shouldn't have been a bunker. No, maybe what lies beyond this door. Things are finally getting interesting. What? What lies beyond that door, dude? Why do you know and I don't? There's the final dead room. Weapons. Axes, swords, hammers, metal wires. There's a lot that could be used as weapons here. But I don't see anything that looks like it could be the ultimate weapon. So I wonder where the ultimate, so-called ultimate weapon is. Lots of firearms here too. Handguns, grenade launchers, and even... I don't see anything that looks like it could be the ultimate weapon. I wonder where that so-called ultimate weapon is. Refrigerators? A refrigerator, here? I wasn't expecting to find drinks in it, but when I opened the door and peeked inside, there are poisons stored in here. You could secretly kill everyone with poison, and in a way, it could be considered the most powerful weapon. In that case, you'd have to ignore the rules. Regardless, it's slightly different from than an ultimate weapon. Something called ultimate should make my heart dance with joy. What? There's still more? Well, what the fuck am I? Refrigerator. Those are the same, right? So, final dead room? Final dead room is on the other side of this door. I entered the room from this door. There's no need to go back. I should thoroughly look around here. Window. A window? Why is there only a window, only one window in a place like this? Looks like there's some kind of hidden meaning to it. In reality, what could it mean? When I entertain the various possibilities as I walk slowly towards that window, the moment I- it's- you're inside the castle, aren't you? Huh? What's so funny? I wouldn't know what's so funny. When I saw outside this window, I started piecing it together and thinking about it. Yeah, I see. I'm finally starting to get a larger perspective of the funhouse of this. Dude, what? You jerk! I wanted to see. As expected, a pl uh, of a place that cannot be reached unless you clear the final dead room. Thanks to how I arrived here, all the separate pieces seem to have connected together in one fell swoop. A chain reaction culminating in the truth, but all thanks to just one clue. I know now is not the time to enjoy things, but this is definitely a good feeling. Especially that window. That's right, everything became connected from there. Then let me see. Thanks to that window, I finally realized the mystery of the ultimate weapon and the funhouse. Now all I have to do is tell everyone about this. But before I do that, I should finally take a look at this file I received from Monokuma. Especially if it's everyone's student profiles from their time at Hope's Peak Academy. That's important. I cautiously opened the file and read it carefully, taking care not to miss a single letter. Carefully. Dots. Dots. Huh? Show me. Show me, 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 show me. Dots. Dots. Hey. Hey, can you hear me? Dots, dots. Can Come on! Me? Come on with the misinformation! Uh, they're gonna wait till the class trial to drop all that shit. Watch. Uh, I'm sorry, did you say something? Uh, no? It's been about two hours since we spoke to Fuyiko. I wonder if the elevator's been fixed yet. It'd be bad if we were split up before the class trial, so maybe we should call them one more time. Mm. Yeah, are you even listening? I only brought that up because I'm really worried. Sorry. So what are you gonna do? You're right, I'm worried about them. Let's try calling Strawberry House one more time. I think. I think that's a good idea, I think. <laughs> he just pops up, he's like, I'm here. Huh? 
What's up, Nagato? Hello there. Why, hello there, Hajime. Nagato, why are you here? <laughs> because I showed up. What the? F because you showed up. How did you even? How did you even come here? That's. <laughs> Maybe I teleported. Huh? Nagato's sudden appearance has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Aha! Aha! Maybe that. Maybe there's a hatch coming from the top. Hey, answer me seriously. How were you able to come to this side? Before I do that, there's something I need to tell you guys. There is? I tried to investigate Strawberry House as much as I could. I'll give you those details first. Let's hurry this up. After being ab uh, abruptly interrupted by Nagato, Chiaki and I learned about the results of his investigation in Not Strawberry House. Elevator has been added to the truth bullet section. The Strawberry Halls button has been added to the truth bullet section. Fuyuko's account has been added to the truth section. A uh, wall clock has been added to the truth bullet section. Well, I guess these were pretty important. Especially the fact that everyone in the Strawberry House heard that rumbling noise too. But what was that? What was that about the wall clock's alarm going off before that happened? Also, the fact that Strawberry Hall's button was broken is definitely worth noting. Hey. Also, there's one more thing I need to tell you guys. <laughs> I've cleared the final dead room. Huh? <laughs> you did the life-threatening game? Wow. It wasn't life-threatening at all. It was just a little escape game that ended with some Russian roulette. Russian roulette? Um. It's a game where you load a bullet into a gun, spin the cylinder, and point it towards you and pull the trigger. So you really did it. Man. That, ah, so that's how you're supposed to play it. So it would have been fine if I only used one bullet, huh? I guess it was just as Monami said. Huh? Huh? Actually. I misunderstood and thought that I had to take one bullet out of the cylinder, so that's how I did it. You only had a 1 in 6 chance of surviving. Well, but I'm still alive, after all. The only good thing about me is how lucky I am. What is wrong with it? What? If you know you're the ultimate lucky, I would do the same shit, dude. I would have to have some pretty, like, convincing evidence that I was the ultimate lucky in order to pull a gun to my head, though. I... He's not crazy, he's just the ultimate lucky. Anyway, because I was able to clear the final dead room, I was able to obtain several rights. And one of those rights... <laughs> was the freedom to move between Grape House and Strawberry House. And not only that, but whenever I move back and forth, I don't need to play the game again. Back and forth? How would you even be able to do that now? Man. Hey Hajime, you stay quiet. you've been re repeating yourself over and over and it's bugging me. Can you let me speak freely for a change? Huh? <laughs> anyway, I'm definitely- <laughs> what? Anyway, I'm definitely lucky. Thanks to that, I was able to clear the Russian roulette at the highest difficulty. I obtained quite an amazing prize as my reward. Is that that's is the future foundation file? Yep. It's a continuation of the file we received at the roller coaster. A continuation? There's even more detailed information about the killing school life that was in the earlier file. The killing school life. You mean the killings that took place at Hope Street Academy, right? As I recall, Biakio was one of the students who participated in it. <laughs> but even when we learn more about the killing school life, it has no relevance to us whatsoever. There was information about the order of the killings and who the killer was for each incident. I found it extremely boring to read about the deaths of people I don't even know. Right? Besides Biakia, of course. It was just as I thought. Biakia was the Biakia we knew, right? What? Well, I can't say the information was completely useless. Uh, in truth, the similarities between the killing school life and this cooling s killing school trip. Um. Similarities. For example, the first murder involves someone important getting stabbed to death in an unexpected place. Hey. The second murder revealed the presence of a serial killer among the group. Oh, interesting. <laughs> and the third murder was actually two killings that happened in succession. Interesting, interesting. Hey. What do you guys think about these strange similarities? It's definitely strange. I can't think of these as coincidences, especially if Monokuma is behind the motives in the driving and driving the murders. What are you trying to say? Hey. By the way, the fourth murder of the killing school life was apparently ruled a suicide. Huh? 
Whether that means something or not is something each person should think about on their own. I just wanted to tell you guys the truth. Truth is, you're not, you're, you're not trying to confuse you with suicide. Wouldn't that be fucking interesting? Jeez. Jeez, your complaints just never end, do they? If you're gonna talk like that, I won't tell you any more. And I even learned what your talent is, too. Huh? Well... Well, that file wasn't the only one I received from Monokuma. This is another one. That seal. Yep. Indeed. It's the Hope's Peak Academy school crest. Perhaps. Does that have information about our stolen memories? How unfortunate. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any clues about that. This file doesn't contain our information, just Hajime's information. J j just mine? Why? Isn't that weird? Why only Hajime's information? Jeez. It's quite troubling you would ask me that. I must say, it was always interesting that Haj Hajime was the only one who couldn't remember his talent. Right? But that ends now. Are you serious? Did you finally find out why I was chosen by Hope's Week Academy? In a way, it's just as Jaki said, Hajime's existence is special. Because you were... <laughs> just some reserve course. That's why he's been talking down to me the entire time. Oh no, we're enemies now. Oh no. 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 Unlike the primary department for the main core students who possess, or possess ultimate talents, the reserve department is for the reserve core students who entered the school through a basic entrance exam. Essentially, you're like a substitute with a second string. Well, even then, that's just, in name only, the reserve department pretty much only exists to increase Hope Speak Academy's revenue stream. Ref is reserve department? Substitute? Second string? Rev- What is he saying? <laughs> like I said, to be a reserve student, you don't need to possess an ultimate talent. You just have to pay rather costly entrance fee and tuition. With the funds obtained from these exams, the academy can focus on bolstering and researching talent. Though so this, the symbols of hope can be raised, Isn't or through that this, right? that means you're just a stepladder, but you should feel honored. An average talentless human can make good use for those who are known as mankind's hope. What the hell does that mean? Perhaps you certainly simply weren't determined enough. Did you admire hope? Were you willing to sacrifice your body and soul to attend Hope Speak Academy? Or maybe you were just obsessed with Hope Speak Academy. Like a fangirl following the latest trend. It's not like that, I... Stop. Wanted to become Hope? Is that, If that's what you're thinking, just stop it. Listen carefully. The only humans worthy of becoming Hope are... Possess amazing talents and a strong will. And the moment you're born into this world, you either have it or you don't. There's no mistake. This has nothing... It has nothing to do with effort. You must be chosen by Hope to become Hope. You don't even know? That's why... It's not even worth admiring. Or were you so blinded by your admiration for Hope's Peak Academy you couldn't even see that? I don't want to be enemies with Nagato. You're, you're just some nobody from the reserve course who never had a talent to begin with. Anybody who forgot he was a nobody. Or a nobody that forgot he was a nobody, that's all. Then I... I'm just... <laughs> that's right. You were never an ultimate. You had no talent whatsoever. Ah, I feel so sorry for you. W are you shocked to learn that you were the only one who didn't have a talent? That's not it. But still, if you think about it positively, positively, it looks like there was no more reason to doubt you. Now that we know who you are, a normal, average, utterly remarkable high school student, <laughs> there's no way you could be associated with the Future Foundation. <sighs> but if it's not Hajime, who in the world could the traitor be? The survivor of the previous scaling school life, Byakia, would have been the most likely candidate. But now, that's probably impossible. Hey. Hey, are you still listening? Hold it. There's no need for you to listen to this. What? Well? It may be important to talk about who the traitor is, but we need to focus on Mechamara's murder first. Because if we can't survive the class trial, everyone is going to die together anyway. If that's the case, or in that case, the traitor would be among those killed as well. That's something I truly wonder about. Yep. 
Oh well, that's fine. I'll stop for now. Hey, hey. You said you cleared the final dead room ob and obtained these files. That means you must have gone to the octagon, right? Hey. Are you curious about the ultimate weapon? So... Did you find out what it was? <sighs> Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. Is there any reason I should answer that? Huh? What the hell? <laughs> I'm the one who cleared that room, and I'm free to divul divulge any clues I obtain there as I see fit, right? Are you planning to keep it a secret? Are you planning to side with the killer again? Man. Like I said, I'm not on the killer's side. That hasn't changed since this began. How many times must I repeat myself? I just want hope to shine even brighter. Mm. What you're saying doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> just tell us already about tell us about the ultimate Jeez. weapon. I guess I have no choice. I guess, I suppose I can tell you one little tidbit. I You're right. I did go to a place that seemed to be the octagon and found many different weapons there. But I didn't find anything worthy of the name Ultimate Weapon. Don't lie, there's no way that's possible. Stop it. Coming from someone with no talent like yourself? That's truly offensive. What did you say? Oh. Fine, I understand. Now's not the time for us to be fighting anyway. If you don't tell us, we gotta do it ourselves. Now, shall we go back to investigating Mekamaru's case? We better hurry, the class trial is gonna start soon. You're right. Right, I haven't even seen the, cr the crime scene. Also, those guys in Strawberry House should be coming over to this side any moment now. Bye now. Then, while we're at it, I'll go on ahead. Hey. Hajime, it's okay, I already know. You want me to focus on Nek Maru's case right now, right? It's true that I'm shocked, but now's not the time for me to feel like that. Right now, I can't afford to be the only one who's depressed. I need to survive with everyone else and return home. That's what's most important. Isn't that right? Yep. Yeah, I'm relieved to hear that. We should get moving then. Chiaki, me and you, me and you, we get each other. We we get each other, real, like a lot. Just forget about it for now. I need to focus on Nekomaru's case. So it's not Nagato. I feel like Nagato is going to be like the, the final boss, right? He's, he's shaping up to be that way. Because if you think about it, y you know... He's he's just now become my ultimate enemy because I used to be an ultimate now that I'm not an ultimate <laughs> I'm just terrible. <laughs> I have returned from the depths of hell Gundam. Yo. Yo, sorry we're late hey. Just so you all know it's all thanks to me. I'm the old I'm the one who fixed the elevator <laughs> See it's just as I said, right? Hey, hey Hey, are you even listening to me? I'm trying to stand out here. Hey more importantly, Kazuichi, did you look into that matter I asked you about? Huh? Oh, the thing about the compass? I looked into it while I was coming here, but I think the compass might be broken. You stay quiet. I didn't ask for your opinion. Just tell me the results. <laughs> well, the compass rotated 180 degrees while we were riding the elevator. The needle rotated 180 degrees? <laughs> I see, so it's just as I thought. What do you mean by that? That's obvious. Well, obviously, the elevator most likely rotated 180 degrees. Rotated? Now then. Now then, I should go investigate Rekomaru's body. Oh, that makes sense. It doesn't go anywhere because it rotates all around. We're probably in the castle right now. I'm thinking we're in the castle right now. And that this elevator, like... The thing is on the opposite side of the elevator, but then that what doesn't explain this. It doesn't explain this at all. Unless someone figured that out. You serious? Uh Nekamaru, are you serious? Damn it! Damn it. I didn't I don't know who did this, but this is pretty fucked up. Hey. That's not the time to get sentimental. Come on, we need to hurry up and investigate. But we've already investigated everything we can here. Wow. No, you haven't. There's still someone, something you should be able to investigate more thoroughly. Now that Mikan is no longer with us, we can't perform an autopsy. Right. But Kazuichi should be able to disassemble the body, right? Huh? It cannot be. Is that true? Are you going to disassemble Nekomaru's body? I won't forgive you. Don't screw with me. Hasn't kept Coach Nekomaru been through enough already? You don't know? Been through enough. We need to perform this investigation so we can find out who the killer is. Or perhaps you don't want to know, Akane. Maybe you don't care about what happened to Nekomaru. 
Damn it! Why, you... You stay quiet. If you suck at using your brain, and you really want to know who the killer is, try not to interfere so much. He's just become the, the ultimate villain, hasn't he? He's gonna be the final boss. He's gonna be the final boss. Jeez. I know, because he's the ultimate lucky. And I knew it from the very beginning. The ultimate lucky can't be killed. The only way that you can kill him is like... You couldn't. You couldn't kill him, right? The ultimate lucky is the ultimate ability. Being lucky is the ultimate ability. He, he says that he's the worst, but actually he's the best. I know, I just wanted to see his insides, but not like this. This is just too much. Well... Come on, are you guys feeling okay too? Now's not the time to be staring into space. Nagato, there's definitely something wrong with you. I thought he was just treating me differently, but ever since he found out I have no talent, but... It seems like that's not entirely the case. His attitude towards everyone else is strange now too. But why? Hmm. Damn it! It's come so far, there's no way I can get sent. I feel awful for Nakamaru, but this is necessary if we're gonna find out the truth behind this case. I wonder if Nagata is actually the traitor, and he, he's not the ultimate lucky, and I'm the ultimate lucky. Wouldn't that be shit, huh? And the reason why, the reason why he's able to do all this shit, right, is because he's he's the ultimate traitor. So he seems like the ultimate lucky, but he's actually not. Because Nek uh, uh, freaking Monokuma and Monami are... Nagato did that too. It's like Nagato has full control of the situation. Maybe. Like the damage to his head is the reason... Huh? The reason Nekimaru died, I mean, stopped functioning. Hmm. His torso is covered in huge dents and his parts are dislocated. So maybe a shaft gear broke too. Well, for now, I tried disassembling, disassembling Nekomaru's chest. That should help us learn something, right? If that's the case, I need to look at Nekomaru's body one more time. I just want to check at the clock, because I have a feeling it's the same time. 5.30? Does it say 5.30 right there? No, 7.30. Uh, pointing to 7.30. It also looks like the clock's alarm was set for 7.30. Which means the clock broke at the moment the alarm started ringing at 7.30. Huh. 7.30 a.m. is strange, right? I mean, we should have arrived at Grave Tower just before 7 a.m. for Monokuma Tai Chi. Is this clock malfunctioning? No, wait. Highly efficient radio clock. Radio clock. The type of clock that receives radio signals so it can automatically update it the time at fixed intervals. Simply put, it's an extremely accurate clock. That's right. It's a clock that will never slow down. It's even designed so that it cannot be adjusted. I have become a time lord. Even if it's an accurate clock, they didn't need to install it inside your body. What are you saying? I don't need to wear a wristwatch ever again. There's nothing more useful than this. Hmm. Why does the clock sit broken, say, at 7.30 a.m.? Radio clock has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Ha! Huh. Yes. So, I'm thinking he's either the traitor or the ultimate lucky. He's crouching over Nekumara's body, and it almost seems like he's glaring at him. Dot. What are you doing, dude? You're the worst. Jeez, this is the worst, huh? Jeez. You guys looked over an important clue. I swear, you're just the worst. This is what I thought. There's no way I can leave this to you guys. What are you talking about? Well, I found this fragment under a pillow that tipped over. Is this a doorknob? You don't even know. It looks like the screws come out came out with it. That wouldn't happen unless you applied a ton of force to it. Plus. It looks like there are scratches near the base of this doorknob. Hey. Don't you think it's strange? See? If you examine the far back door of the Great Tower, the knob is still intact, right? Now that you mention it, you're right. Now then. If that's the case, where did this doorknob come from? If that's not the door that leads to Strawberry Hall, then there's only one other possibility. It'd have to be connected to the Grape Hall that we just entered from. 
<laughs> it makes sense to think about it like that. <laughs> we should try it out. Try it out, huh? I don't know. We take the elevator to Strawberry House and we enter the Strawberry Tower from Strawberry Hall. That's the only way we can see the other side of this door, right? But the button to open the door to Strawberry Hall is broken, right? It's obvious. We can just repair it. After all, we have the ultimate mechanic on our side. Well... Well, you're right, but I need the parts to repair the door in Strawberry Hall. I can repair it if it's broken, but I don't have enough parts. There's not much I can do about it. <laughs> but you have plenty of parts right here. Huh? Huh? See? Just use Nekamaru. If you dig through his body, I'm sure there's parts that you can use. Hold on. Are you saying we should use parts from our dead friend? <laughs> it's called recycling. It's much better than the alternative than disposing the rest of the junk, right? Hey. Well, Kazuichi, is it possible or impossible? He said I could probably use those parts to repair the button, but... Seriously, hold on. If you even repair the button, what's going to happen to the chain on the other side of the door? Huh? The chain? Door to Strawberry Hall has a chain wrapped around the knob. Even if you fix the button on Strawberry Hall side, the door won't open as long as that chain is there. You don't need to worry about that at all. Huh? I don't need to worry, what does that mean? Now then. Kazuichi, we should go over Strawberry Hall so you can repair the door. Hey, I'm not finished. Hajime, you're gonna come later too, right? It'd be really bothersome if you didn't. I mean, if there's someone in the tower, the door won't open at all. Right? So you should at least make sure you're not pulling any leg. Or pulling my leg. After tersely saying that Nagato left the area, the doorknob has been added to the tooth bullet section of your handbook. Huh? What the hell happened to him? He seems on edge about something. Mm. Who knows? Damn right. Ah, that reminds me. Nagato asked Ka Kazuichi to do something weird for him, right? Yep. It had something to do with the elevator spins 180 degrees. I wonder what that could mean, or what hey. it could mean. Actually, to tell you the truth, Nagato asked me to do something weird, too. He told me to investigate all the clocks in both buildings. The clocks? I... So I did, and I checked them all, but none of the clocks had their times messed up. Jeez. But why did he ask me to do that in the first place? I don't get that bastard at all. For now, why don't we head over to Strawberry Tower 2? Along with the doorknob matter, there's still many mysteries surrounding this that we don't understand. If we go to Strawberry Tower, we might be able to find some of the mysteries. Maybe. Jeez, you're pathetic. That's all we could do. Let's head over. You're right. What is he planning to do about the chain? Does Nagato have a plan or something? Jeez, I don't understand this at all. Okay. I say before we end the episode, we go check out what what's going on over at Strawberry Hall. Because I have no clue. I'm pretty sure that it's flipped, right? Like, it's 180 degrees, so it just spins around. But like, what the fuck does that mean then? Like, are the halls just the, just not connected at all then? But why was her e-handbook there after we left? We made our way to Strawberry House. It's been a while since I've come to Strawberry What's House. What's up? Hey, you're here. Hey, hey. Kazuichi, how did the repairs go? <laughs> yeah, well, the damage wasn't too bad. Once I got the parts, I was able to fix it right away. Yeah. Got a lot of nerve saying that when you just use Nekamaru's parts without my permission. Hey, hey. Hey, well, I mean, even so. Now then. Now that we're all here, why don't we hurry up and try it out? What will happen when you press the button to Strawberry Hall store? Even so. There's no way it'll open. You haven't done anything about the chain. But it will. Hey. The door to Strawberry Hall behind Nekamaru's body was blocked off by chain, remember? If you don't do anything about it, it means it does on the outside. <laughs> Well, we don't know if we try it out. It's not even worth trying out. We've come all this far. If he's saying that we should try it out, we should give it a yep. shot. Yeah, that'd be great. So, I, I still don't get the e-handbook situation, but I, I don't think that these two are the same room. But I, 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 I said that from the very beginning. I was like, I don't think these are the same, or they're either the same room. I don't think the hall is the same. I press the button. Open. Oh, Nekumaru's body is in the same place. Hey, hey. Hey, why did it open? Impossible. Impossible. Where did the chain go? Hold it. Hold on, that's not the only thing that's strange. This definitely looks weird. What do you mean, huh? Hey. Hey, this doesn't look at all the same than when we were in Grape Tower. Right, when we were in said Grape Tower, Nekumaru's body was in front of the far back door. 
which means his body should be in front of the door to Strawberry Hall. So if we entered from Strawberry Hall, his body should be right in front of the door as we walked in. So why is it like that? Hmm. Hey, hey. Not just that. The parts I carefully arranged when I disassembled the parts all uh, moved too. Even the tipped over pillar and the spilled oil. They're all moved in the exact same way. The crime scene looks identical to how we saw it when we entered from Grape Hall. Everything that was the crime scene inside Grape Tower shifted to the opposite side. As if it rotated 180 degrees. Right? I can't imagine the floor rotated 180 degrees, but... Is that really what this means? No, it's more than that. I feel like there's an even greater mystery here. A mystery so great that it could drastically affect the outcome of this case. It could. I just don't know what it is yet. We might have to rethink this. We might need to fundamentally rethink how we've been approaching this case. A strange feeling in Tower has been added to the truth box. The chain has been updated in your handbook. Please check the truth bolts in your section to review it. I see. The chain disappeared. I have a strange, the strange feeling I felt when I went back and forth between the two flowers. <laughs> Just as I thought, it's definitely the right choice to confirm this. Just as you thought. Then you already knew about this mystery? You have a bad habit of relying on others when you don't understand. Why don't you try investigating first? See? That door at the far back has a picture of a grape on it. Maybe there's a hidden clue there? Clue on that door. That handle is missing. Alright, um, thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more roguelike content, I upload a lot of that. I also upload story-based content. As soon as I'm finished with this one, I will start another one. Uh, but I don't know what yet. We'll see. Um, but, as always, uh, I'm 2 player negative AE. I hope you guys are having a good rest of your day. And, peace out, guys.